Molly. Welcome to Forensic Gameology, hosted by MoonlightCrew.com. Reviews for science. In seven minutes or less. Jungle speed. Thor. I'm just saying, oh, oh, we, have, we have our puppy Thor here. She's brand new, six weeks brand new, and she doesn't sleep through the night yet, so she needs to stay awake right now, which is why she's in our video. <laughs> but she won't. She's going to go to sleep. Just watch her. She's already sleeping right now. So oh, i got to keep her awake. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so Jungle Speed is the game we're talking about today. This is going to be a speed dexterity game in which you flip out cards. I flip this one out. Tom flips one out. And we go, and it's however many people. You go until you find a matching something. In the beginning, it starts matching shapes. Um, and then in the middle with this card, it can change to matching colors and then change back again. And so if Tom and I find a matching shape, oh, we both have to go for the center, grab it first, and then we can get rid of our cards, and the point of the game is to get rid of your cards first. Um, so there are some rules, but we'll talk about those in simplicity versus complexity. This game is simple. Uh, it's just matching either the color or the, uh, if you hold that up, this type of shape here or pattern. But the, the complexity lies in just how difficult they've purposely made the game. Like, hold... Okay. Like, hold these up. These look like they could be the same, but they're not. These look like they could be the same, also not the same. You got these guys, you got these guys. You're like, wow, those look like similar shapes, similar patterns, but they're completely not. And so, completely not. <laughs> it, it is so difficult to, when you're just trying to do it really quickly on the fly, to not make a mistake. Because when you make a mistake, you take more cards. Um, so, yeah, I think this game is simple. Um, and what you have to do, but it's hard because they purposely make it hard. That's, that's the point of this game. Um, there are some rule things uh, that make it a little complicated. Like we said, this one just changes it from shape to color. This one, you just make all, everyone has to grab the center because then you can get rid of extra cards. And this one makes everyone flip a card at the same time, which just means you have to look for your shape frantically. Because normally, like, oh, you, you flip one out, you look and see if there's a match, matching, and you're like, okay, no. And now I know that I'm looking for this shape. But when everyone flips them out, it's a free-for-all. It's chaos. And blood can be spilled. Luck versus strategy. Uh, it's, it's a skill-based game. So, I mean, is there a lot of strategy? But as for luck, it I lost a game where I had only one card left to, to get rid of. And nobody ever turned up the shape that I had. And I lost because I just had to sit there and wait, 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 wait. And I was just lucky that no one had that card. So, uh, there is some amount of luck. But it means there's a lot of... It, what matters here is skill. Yeah, I would say the same thing. I don't have much more to add. Not much strategy. But, yeah, you just have to be good at recognizing either the shape or the, the color. Uh, fun versus boring. Uh, I find this game fun. I, I'm not very good at it. Which, uh, I guess, is surprising to me because I like dexter speed dexterity games. And I'm generally fairly good at them. I'm okay at this one, but I've never won. Uh... Tom has beat me almost every single time. Like a boss. And that is not usual. If you know Tom and I and our speed dexterity uh, abilities, you would think, oh, yeah, Molly would win this one easy. Not so. But that doesn't make me like it less. I really like this game. I think it's fun. Um, be, having to recognize things is, makes your brain just work really quick, and I, and I enjoy that aspect of it. I enjoy having to work so hard for a seemingly simple game. Um, be, be aware that you can... Um, like I said earlier, blood be spilled. You can be scratched, uh, so maybe cut your nails before you play this game. It's a violent game because you both go for this uh, thing in the middle, and you can scratch uh, or gouge someone. So just be aware of that. But I find this game to be pretty fun. The guy who traded this to us said that these little spots on here are catch-up. I'm not convinced. <laughs> but I actually told the guy who traded this to us, Alex. They said, hey, Alex, you don't watch our video because this is his favorite game of all time. Oh, he had yeah, so many yeah. copies, he traded one away. And, and I was like, I hate this type of thing. I hate speed dexterity. I've already played this. Don't watch the video. It's going to be just me with carnage uh, galore all over this game. But incredibly, incredibly, I have enjoyed this game. Uh, which We're turning him. We're turning him. Maybe, because I, like I said, I lost that time. And I've, I've played this game a lot. It's several years old, so I've played this several years ago. And I did not like it then. It was difficult. People were just grabbing the the totem before i could even register what was going on it was complete pandemonium but for some reason i'm incredible at this game now <laughs> like I'm, and that's the only reason you like it you don't like to speak saturday because you're bad at them that, that's a valid reason and i'm not sure that is the reason okay but i'm saying if it was it would be valid <laughs> but anyway i 
I'm really good at this stuff now. I'm I'm like Molly level speed dexterity. Did no, anyone, let's not go that Did far. anyone watch our um, fast track? At the end of it, I beat Molly for the first time in, in recorded history. It was incredible. Yeah, Watch because it. you cheated. I didn't cheat. You just weren't ready. Look, <laughs> look. Th in this game, I have I have prevailed triumphantly so many times. It's starting to grow on me, and I'm actually starting to suggest it. So I would say, all right, all I would right. say, this is her head's on the dog. table. She's trying to just close her eyes. <laughs> I know this is mean, but we got to keep her awake so she doesn't cry throughout the entire night, keeping us awake. Well, for board game geek. I would give this a rating of a seven. I would. It's a fun game. It's filler time frame, so you could play it pretty quickly, or you could just say, "Hey, let's play several rounds, make this a thing." Yeah, I would say seven as well. Yep. Uh, when we get to multiples of uh, five hundred subscribers on YouTube, we give away a free glitter painting of your favorite geeky thing. So make sure to subscribe now. It could be you that wins. Jungle speed. We presented the evidence. You be the judge. Uh -huh.